Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs> And the shot rang up. Bang! Hot dog! Hot dog! Don't hesitate! It could be your ticket to a new tomorrow! <laughs> How you doing, folks? Here we are at Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and this is Inkai. Gonna play us a song? That's great. This is Pepe Santana, and you're the founder, I guess, of the group? Yes, sir. And maybe you can tell us, uh, that, that sounded almost like it was going to induce me into a trance of some kind, is that? Well, we expect that. Not you, expect you, that. but the audience too. <laughs> well, the idea is to convey the sound of the Andes, which is a living tradition. As you can hear, uh, these kind of sounds existed long before the Spaniards came. The Spaniards were the ones who brought us the guitar, perhaps the best legacy that we have today. <laughs> and uh, before that, our music was played only with wind and percussion instruments like you heard now. Uh -huh. This song is from Ecuador. And the rhythm is quite ancient, quite old. And a basic rhythm taken from the heartbeat and uh, that exists all over the world. But not because the Spaniards came, these ancient sounds disappear. They are very much alive. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here playing it for you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you are. <laughs> I think everybody watching is too. 
Well, that's, that's great. Uh, we have a, a whole array of instruments with us here tonight. Uh, with them, of course, the different textures of sounds that we have in the mountains. And uh, we will play music from Bolivia, from Ecuador, and from Peru. Uh, music that you can divide in indigenous and mestizo. Mestizo is the, the blending or the mixture of the European and the native. Mm -hmm. Since the guitar appeared, we have this new kind of sound today. So we will play the native sound and the mestizo sound. You heard the, I mean the native sound, you just heard that from Ecuador. Very good. Yes. And what are we ready to play now? We are going to play a song that uh, is considered to be part of the mestizo folklore from Peru. It comes from Huancayo and is dedicated to the most popular soft drink that we have. <laughs> we call it uh, chichita morada and uh, it's a very loving song because it's made out of corn of uh, red black corn it's a red drink it looks like wine but it's not wine it's delicious sweet and refreshing so this the song talks about that there's nothing better than the natural thing <laughs> so it comes chichita morada from peru Preciosura de una flor natural nunca podrá ser como la artificial. El lunar que tienes junto a la nariz no me cautiva porque es artificial. El lunar que tienes junto a la nariz no me cautiva porque es artificial. Preciosura de una flor natural nunca podrá ser como la artificial. El lunar que tienes junto a la nariz no me cautiva porque es artificial. El lunar que tienes junto a la nariz no me cautiva porque es artificial.
That's great. That, that rhythm is called Waino. Waino is one of the most popular rhythms that is danceable, of course, that uh, is heard in Bolivia and Peru and parts of Ecuador, too. Is there a translation for that word? Or? Well, there are different meanings. The main one that uh, we find in the books is that it's derived from the Quechua word huayna, which means young, in Spanish, joven. Uh, supposedly, in the past, these kind of rhythms were danced by young people. But it's not so, because the older you get, the more you want to dance this kind of thing. <laughs> so there's a dispute in the meaning of it, of why no. But well, why I wanted to dance. Does that mean I'm older? <laughs> well, you were dancing. I watched you. <laughs> yes. Uh, now we're going to play a very uh, typical rhythm from, uh, and sounds from the Aymara land, uh, the region of Bolivia, in two instruments. The most popular one is this vertical flute called kena. And uh, the big pan pipes that we would have is a, a family of pan pipes called sikus. And the sikus are divided in male and female parts. The male parts have the notes that the female part doesn't have. So in order to play a melody, two musicians at least will have to share the notes to weave the melody. So this is what you will hear next after we play the Choquelas. So this is a combination of two different instruments and rhythms from Bolivia.
That's pretty astounding. That's really great. Uh, I'd like to pause so that we can tell people how to get in touch with you if they want to find out where they can come listen to you play or um, do you have a mailing list that people can get on? We sure do. We have, have a mailing, mailing list. list and, uh, if they have any kind of interest, the number is up on the screen. It's, uh, I can't read it, so you'll have to tell me. Uh, the telephone number yes. uh, is uh, New Jersey 201-398-9573. And you'll be calling Pepe Santana. That's correct. And uh, if somebody wants to learn how to play this kind of music, I guess they could call you too. They can call us too, <laughs> and we'll be glad to show whatever we can. This is our duty here in the States. Uh, uh, the real fact is that it's important for anybody to know the cultures or the significance of, of the cultural values of other peoples. If one day we can ask them to respect us, I guess it's important. You know that through the music, it's very important to let people know what are the traditions. This musical tradition has managed to survive for 500 years in spite of all kinds of cultural and economic colonialism that the people from the Andes uh, have suffered. So we take a great pride in presenting it to any audience and uh, by all means if anybody wants to learn or wants to get more acquainted we can help to do that or they want information about the Andes, about the, the history, about the music, we can also help in giving the literature. I know there are many students for instance that like to write about these things. Uh -huh. We can help them with that also. Great. There's one other question I'd like to ask you if I might. How did you originally get interested in performing music? Well, virtually all of us here, um, by the way, I'd like to present them. Could you tell your name? Freddy Marañón from Bolivia. Freddy Marañón from Bolivia. Nice to meet you. My name is, my name is Ruth Monteran from Ecuador. Nice to meet Paco you. Paco Moreno, Ecuador. Mario Rodriguez from Ecuador. Yes. Nice to have you all on the show. I'm really Thank thrilled you. to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, what are we were talking about? How you originally got interested in... As I said, we, we, in our countries, perhaps the best entertainment that we have is music and soccer. And uh, when, of course, at night it's difficult to play soccer, so we play music. <laughs> and uh, we grew up with, with that thing. And uh, when I first came to New York back in 64, I, I, was, I was overwhelmed by the, all kinds of sounds I could hear. Ireland, and Ireland, uh, England, France, India, China, Japan. All the sounds were here, but my own. I couldn't hear my own. There were radio programs, they told me at the time, but uh, that motivated me to start doing something here in, mm -hmm. in this land. Well, we all did something in, back home in our own countries. We were part of different groups. And I was lucky enough to meet all my friends here and <laughs> regroup and do something with Inkai. By the way, Inkai in Quechua, the native language, means to feed the fire with the idea of keeping alive this tradition by performing it. That's yeah. wonderful. What do we got? Now we go back to Ecuador and we're going to play another song that belongs to the Mestizo folklore that comes from the northern part. Uh, you, you, so far you have seen different types of pan pipes. Pan pipes is the generic name given to the instrument that's made out of reeds of different lengths, tied together, of course, and each length is one note. And it's like blowing across a, a bottleneck. Uh, that is the best way to describe it. So if you have different uh, bottles of Coca-Cola with the different heights of water, you might be able to get the sounds of a pan pipe. <laughs> and uh, another instrument that we utilize is the one that Rothman and Paco has, have. It's called tunda, it's a traverse flute, traverse bamboo flute. And the ones I have here are two whistles, one with six holes, the other one with four holes, and the musician must play them both at the same time to harmonize. And of course you know the, the bombo, the drum, and the guitar. So we got to Ecuador and play a song called The Heirs of My Land, Aires de Mi Tierra. <laughs>
wonderful. Uh, well, way, these whistles are called dulcinas. It's a, it's a word derived from the Spanish word dulce, which in English means sweet. Sweet. Yeah, it's dulce. a purpose made with six and four holes, so naturally you will get a harmony there. And if you fool around with the fingers there, you can <laughs> harmonize any melody, really. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, we just barely have enough time to thank you for, it just flew by, and uh, we have enough time to thank you for being on. And we had worked out this jam session, but I think I'd just rather let you transport me back to <laughs> where you come from. <laughs> okay. So just play All another right. uh, number let's and do, we'll, we'll let's thank Let's do you. something from the northern part of Peru, from Cajamarca. Uh, and Cajamarca is a very important city uh, in the history of the Andes because there's where the last Tinka king was in prison. And there's where he was killed also by the conquistadors. In order to let release him, they demanded gold and silver, rooms full of gold and silver. The natives gave them because they wanted their king back. At the end, he was killed anyway. And history has been repeating in the same manner during 500 years. So this special melody talks about that, the beauty of Cajamarca and the history behind that wonderful city from Peru. Very good. Let's show once more how they can get in touch with Inkai if they would like to call That's correct. Pepe Santana. And once again, thanks everybody for tuning in to Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin and this is Inkai. And we hope you'll tune in again. This is what happens when you have so many instruments, you know. <laughs> hard to keep track of them all. Very hard, yeah, especially when you're on TV. What? <laughs> <laughs>